Hello everyone. Once again, this is Dare to Speak. This was just... I don't even... I can't even find the fucking words to say. But this is just fucking beyond crazy. I just... I, was just, I just found out about it just now. Uh, it happened last night. This um, Trump um, supporter was shooting at um, some uh, protesters and he was 17 years old and he was some gun loving idiot who came to, who came to Kenosha, this, his kids from Illinois and the damage that this, that this kid did. And I know he doesn't even care. I'm pretty sure he's, he's proud of it. And the way the cops treated him, like, uh, this guy was walking around with a fucking gun. And, and compared to um, Jacob Blake, who just shot seven times in the back, and then here's this white kid with, a, with a, an assault rifle, and the cops don't zero in on him. I mean, I... I know people are going to say, well, he has the right because of something about gun laws or whatever or, or something like that, but this, this is just fucking beyond crazy. And I've been reading comments already uh, about it, saying that he was, uh, that he acted in self-defense, that the rioters, um, um, not the rioters, I'm sorry, the protesters were actually charging him up, chasing after him, so he had no choice but to shoot or some stupid shit like that. That's not, that's not self-defense. When you shoot at unarmed people like that, that's not self-defense. I mean, that, that, that's just straight up. He murdered two people and wounded three, from what I understand, if, if my information is correct. What the fuck is wrong with this world? I mean, I mean that's, and then I was, just, I was just shaking my head. That guy was, is probably gonna get, is, is gonna get, uh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. But this guy is probably gonna get his arm chopped off. He's, he's probably gonna have to get amputated. And that's, ah, oh man. And, and, and hearing, this, hearing this guy in pain, crying, because he, he knows what's gonna happen. I mean, I'm sorry, man, but this, I mean, no, no, I'm not sorry. This, this is just fucking bullshit. I don't know what's going to happen with this kid now, but more and more crazy things are happening now. And I don't know. Like I said before in, in, in my previous video, something seems like there's some kind of planned agenda. I don't, I don't even know for what reason, but it, it just seems very fucking weird. I got phone calls talking about it and telling me about, about what just happened. And then uh, I've been reading comments on, the, on a few of the videos. And, and a lot of them were saying, uh, like whatever's uh, from what I heard from, from one source, I'm not gonna say who told me this, but the, they said that the, the police said, good job for, uh, for supporting, for being a Trump supporter or something like that. And they gave him bottles of water because he was hot. After he just finished shooting somebody. And then later on they arrested him. I mean, and it's, it's so crazy how, and, and just because he's white and he's a uh, uh, Trump supporter and stuff like that. I mean, obviously this, this kid has some serious, serious issues, obviously. I'm not gonna be like hateful and say a lot of racist things because that's because because obviously that's stupid. It's very stupid to do that. But at the same time, this kid has some serious issues, and I'm pretty sure there's there's a lot of uh, people that are that, that are supporting him, saying what he did was justified. Then it's just clearly, clearly insane. Just, just, it's just fucking stupid. 
it's, it's just straight up murder. Hopefully he gets punished the way he's supposed to get punished and, and things like that. I don't know, but this is just this is just way too much. And and now because of this, they're gonna be sending um the National Guard over to Kenosha. It seems like it's kind of like I don't know, like like it's it's some like it's some sort of uh planned agenda or something for, for these violent things to, violent things to happen. Uh, other, other than the fact that they probably want to promote uh, another type of uh, riot control and then martial law and then I don't know something else. Something I know there's something else to it, and it just doesn't seem right. I just feel bad for the guy. I, I really do. He didn't deserve it. The people that got killed didn't deserve it. The people who got wounded didn't deserve. It. I mean, it's. I mean, come on. This is just. And the last thing we need now is more violence, because I know it's going to provoke more violence. I just know it's going to. And we do not need that. We do not need any more violence. Okay, this is bullshit. Just like what we need to understand, just like what uh, Martin Luther King said, injustice anywhere is a threat to justice everywhere. A very, very strong statement that he made in his, in his, in his speech. And, and, and trying to uh, fight violence with violence is not gonna do any good. It's just gonna make things worse. All you're doing is fueling the fire. You don't, we don't need that shit, we don't. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, I just, I just feel fucking bad about this shit. Um, Anyways, uh, I'm going to calm down on this because I know I have to. I mean, I can't go crazy and stuff like that. But there's some people, some friends of mine that I know that are going on Twitter and, and just saying these fucking people, these crazy whatever and this and that. I mean, it's just nuts. Again, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and please share as, as, you know, to many, as many people as you can. If you want to, there's no obligation. You don't have to, but it would it would be nice. Questions or comments, you know what to do. And this is there to speak, and to all of you. Take care.